Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back, Olanli. I have to say, I am most impressed by the feat you just accomplished. It has been decades since anyone completed the Warrior's Tribulations trial. I can imagine, seeing as so many lives have been lost here. Can I do this last task now so I can finally be free of this place? Ah, yes, of course. And I recall I promised you some explanations, so I will do that too. Of course, by now, I am sure you have an idea about Ibu Ari and how this realm came to be. More or less. Good. I will now proceed to give you a more detailed account. You see, I became the keeper of the realm after the demise of my master, the Oracle of Ibu Ari. At that time, we suspected foul play on the part of Ajantala because Ilu Ari had suffered untold losses as all our young warriors and youths sent to train and acquire power in the Tribulations realm never made it back. We discovered Ajantala had made a deal with the Otunile Kingdom to sabotage our plans of turning the tide of the war. He had rigged the trials such that they were impossible to beat. We confronted him and that confrontation led to the demise of my master while I was able to take over the realm from him. That was when I discovered more dark secrets of Ajantala. He had told us he appeased Orishaoya with our sacrifices, and in return, the goddess had agreed to bless our warriors. But it was all a lie. Ajantala and his master, Orishaeton, had forcefully invoked and trapped Orishaoya, siphoning her essence to make the realm of tribulations a reality. What? You mean the mighty Orishaoya is actually a prisoner? How is that even possible? I was shocked as well. But then, I stumbled on another dark secret. You see, by utilizing the essence of Orisha Oya and everything Orisha Eton had, the other gods were put into a perpetual state of inactivity. However, this left Orisha Eton in a severely weakened state. The realm of tribulations was actually created by Ajantala as an offering shrine to Orisha Eton, and each time a warrior died in it, Orisha Eton's powers grew along with his influence on the realm of man. 
I believe you can already feel his influence with the deceits and ensuing chaos going on back in the realm of man. Are you saying that Ajatala and Eto are both responsible for the state of my world? More or less, and I believe this is just the beginning. Given Ajantala's hatred towards mankind on one hand, and Orishaiton's insatiable nature of deceit and chaos on the other hand, there is no telling how much worse this is about to get. Balance must be restored, and the only way is to free the gods to keep Eton in check. This is the reason I reopened the realm to assemble powerful warriors blessed with godlike abilities who can make it to the realm of the gods and free Orishaoya and the other gods. Why didn't you just gift people the powers instead of making them go through the trials? A lot of my colleagues died here, as I'm sure many more people for goodness knows how long you have reopened this death contraption. I know, but there was no other way. To acquire the essence of the goddess, you have to complete the trials. That was how Ajantala designed the realm from the start. I could only hope there would be people skilled and strong enough to beat the trials. I have since found two, but we need more, and I believe that you could be one of them if you would be willing to do this last task of freeing the gods by journeying to their realm. Are you saying, do you mean that I have to take a journey to God knows where? I have a family to get back to, as well as a colleague who is still alive here. I promised him I was going to get us back home, so I really can't. Technically, your colleague failed his trial. So should you choose not to be a part of this, I can send you back home, but I would unfortunately have to send him back to the underworld. But on the bright side, I can also send him back home in your place if you agree to join our course. As for your family, you can still get to see them once we complete this task. Think of all the lives we will be saving by freeing the gods and defeating Orishaiton to restore balance. We will also be putting this realm away for good as it is linked to Orishaiton. Until he is defeated, more innocent people would still find themselves here and probably lose their lives. Not to mention all the chaos that would ensue all over the world. Can I really count on you to send Elijah back? Yes, of course. Now step forward so we can begin the imbuing process. I hope I wouldn't die in the process like with Ajantala. Ha ha ha. Of course not, my dear. The essence you have absorbed will make it possible for you to withstand the imbuing process. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Now step forward and let us begin. And so began the transformation of Bolande Goyega into a demigod. While the process was excruciating, Bola could not help but wonder what she had gotten herself into by giving up her humanity for a cause she was not really interested in. The realm of the gods, an imprisoned goddess, restoring balance to the world, all she could hope for was seeing this ordeal through and finally be able to reunite with her family. And with that, Bola emerged as a demigod. What happens next will be a tale for another time.